Uh, I'm not sure what kind of a horse that is, but... Uh, Hi, by any chance, are you good at horses? Hi, as well, I hope you're well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this particular crypto chart, and I'm going to explain to you what it potentially means. Join me. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm speaking to you from Dartmoor National Park. Just an amazing uh, view here behind me here in Dartmoor, which is in the south of England. Now, you may remember in my video uh, some months ago, back in July, in fact, on the 4th of July, I published a video, you may remember, we we're talking about this particular crypto, Shiba Coin. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, oh, come on, Alessio, why are we wasting our time talking about Shiba Coin? What's the point of talking about Shiba Inu? And you might say, well, isn't Shiba Inu, isn't it just worthless? Uh, isn't the real value of Shiba Coin probably zero? So why are we even talking about it. Now listen, I don't blame you for thinking that. And yes, it's very possible that Shiba Inu's real value is probably nothing. It could be worthless. But again, this is not a fundamentals video. This is not a video about fundamentals, schmundamentals, mumbo jumbo. As I'm sure you know, we look at the technical picture. We look at the charts because the charts can tell us what's really going on behind the scenes. All right, guys, if you remember my video from back in July, back then, here's what I said. Let me play for you the video and we'll come back. Some months ago when I was in Iran, uh, my good friend Human, who I'm sure you saw in my previous videos. Now, Human, as I'm sure you know, is really into crypto, Bitcoin, and trading crypto and all that. And he mentioned this particular uh, crypto that I'd never heard of before, and it might be new to you as well. And he was trading it, and he was buying some. And I was very confused, because I'd never heard of it. Apparently, it's one of those new cryptos. But what's interesting is that some people think that this could be the next major Dogecoin. All right, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about Shiba Inu or Shiba coin. And it's not just Human who's interested in this. According to Google Trends, this particular crypto is very popular amongst people. So people are really interested in knowing more about Shiba coin because the price of Shiba coin, Shiba Inu right now, as I'm making this video, is about 0 0.000... 2000 years later. 0063, I think it is. And yeah, I mean, some people are thinking, look, maybe this will become the next Dogecoin. It will rally strongly. Maybe some billionaire like Elon Musk will get behind it and push it up. Maybe it'll go up to 30 cents or $1 or something like that. And that's an exponential growth, which I think some people are thinking will be their next lottery ticket to wealth and a lot of money, obviously. Here's what I would say. So Shiba Coin had these resistance levels. You can see here, I've turned this chart into what's called a three-line break chart. And you can see here, I've got these resistance levels on my chart, as you can see there. I've pointed them out here on my chart. I would say if Shiba coin can get above these resistance levels and stay above them, then the probability can increase that bulls would have some degree of control and perhaps we might see a rally. Okay, now that depends if price can get above that resistance. So let's have a look at this chart. You'll see that I pointed out these resistance levels on my chart. This is on a line break chart. And so the bottom line is if Shiba coin gets above these levels, then I could potentially put bulls in control. All right, guys, as you heard there in that video, uh, at the time I was making that video, actually the price of uh, Shiba Inu at the time was actually below 0 0.000. 008, I think it was, uh, it was below that level. And I said, look, if we break that resistance level that I mentioned in that video, then the odds could increase in Shiba Inu's favor to the upside. By the way, you will notice from the chart, the current chart of Shiba, that as a matter of fact, we did not break that level at all in the past several months. You will notice Shiba Inu did not break that resistance. I mean, it came up to that resistance level on the chart a few times, as a matter of fact. I think it came up to that level back in August and also in September. It rallied to it, but it did not actually break above that level, as you can see here on that chart, that dashed blue line. So Shiba Inu coin, in other words, it stayed and remained below that resistance level. And that's the benefit of technical analysis or chart analysis, because it gave us an objective level to observe on the chart, an objective level of resistance on the chart to have a look at, which could increase the odds in our favor if Shiba actually broke that level. And you will notice since breaking that key level of resistance, Shiba Inu has managed to rally strongly higher, managed to skyrocket higher. And this to me is again, another demonstration of why fundamental analysis often fails. Because people who only look at fundamentals are essentially missing the point here. They say, oh, well, this can never go up because it's worthless or because its real value is zero. And we've said this over and over again, as I'm sure you know, that actually price is driven not by fundamentals, but again by technicals, by psychology, the psychology of the herd, the psychology of the crowd. As the analyst Robert Prechter says, it is social mood that counts. Social mood is what drives price. So when social mood is positive, and optimistic, price usually goes up. Okay, so what can we say now about the chart of Shiba Inu? Well, support is now risen. So that level that we broke now is now support, but actually we have a near support as well. That is a key support there 
on Shiba Inu coin. That means as long as Shiba coin can remain above that level of support, again, bulls for now have control and we could potentially see further upside here in the next few months on Shiba Inu, provided it remains above that support. Because if that support breaks, then risk could increase to the downside. But in any case, for now, as long as Shiba Inu remains above that level, remains above the support level we can see in that chart, then for now, bulls are in control and we could see potentially further upside. Why don't we go and check out this section of Dartmoor National Park before we finish this video. Just wanna show you over here, check out over here. This is a really beautiful spot here. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, yeah. So we got here this bridge, beautiful bridge. It looks like it's been built some time ago, back in the 19th century, by the looks of it. Uh, got a nice little horse here. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of a horse that is, but uh, hi, by any chance, are you good at horses? Mm -hmm. You know what kind of horse that is? They're all hill ponies. Hill ponies? Yeah, they're ah. not dark hill ponies, they're hill ponies. Okay guys, so that's a hill pony. Thank you very much. What was your name? Sorry? What was your name? Sarah. Thanks Sarah. You're welcome. Looks like it's uh, enjoying itself, as you can see right there. Okay, I won't disturb it, but look over here, this little river, or stream, I should say, really. So there's a little stream over here uh, I want to show you. So there's our bridge, and this is our uh, very beautiful area. By the way, i got to tell you, last time I showed this uh, area in Dartmoor National Park, uh, back in July, there was a comment by one of our viewers, and he said uh, he's lived here in the UK almost all his life, and he's never come here or, or seen anything like this. <laughs> so, uh, but guys, from Dartmoor National Park, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Cheers, guys. Bye now.